Amazon Prime Day is here. I'm gonna spend some money. Hey, what's up, family? I'm Rachel. And I'm Joe. And we are Two, two Crazy, Crazy Ketos. Ketos. If you're new to our channel, welcome. Here on Two Crazy Ketos, we do different things like product reviews, we do recipe videos, we talk about various keto topics, and then once a week, we sit down on the couch for Keto on the Couch. We just kind of talk about what's going on in our lives for the week. You can find us on different social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And we also have a website, which is TwoCrazyKetos.com, and that's where you're going to find all of our different recipes. Now, we do upload at least five new videos every single week, so make sure you subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to hit the little bell icon, and that way, every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to it. Why are you wearing a jacket? Because I am freezing. I just we, we just used one of the items that we're going to be talking about today. Guess which one? The ice cream maker. And I just ate a ton of ice cream and I'm freezing now. So you're cold. So I can go turn the air conditioner up to like let's, 78 or 79 no, degrees. Let's not get crazy now. I will I will warm up. <laughs> okay, so today uh, Amazon Prime Day is this week. So mm -hmm. we're going to kind of just quickly go over some of the products that we use on a regular basis in our kitchen. And so maybe you could be on the lookout for some of these great products to use in a keto kitchen. Yeah, because you might as well get the most out of the Prime Amazon day. deals. because yeah, you can find some great deals. So we're just gonna go over them real quick, not much to talk about them, but just some of the things that we use. And so the first one, we're gonna start off with a big giant thing, and that is a Vitamix. Yes. Obviously not, this one is only sold at Costco, but Amazon already has great deals mm -hmm. on Vitamix. Yes. And so you never know. They may have some good deals. We like the Vitamix. It can make some good soups for you. Yeah. Uh, it, if you make smoothies, if you want to use smoothies, things like that, Vitamix is a great option for it. I can't stop touching my coffee because it's warm. <laughs> I'm like pushing it away and then bringing it closer. Yeah, Vitamix is the next level blender. It is like not a cheap blender nope. by any stretch of the imagination. However, this is one you're gonna find in every single restaurant. Yep. It's gonna be in every like smoothie bar, honestly, yep. because nothing, this thing, I don't even know what the rotation on the blades are. It's I like crazy. Know. It's like insane. Right. And now they make them quieter yeah. because it used Much to be quieter. frightening for your neighbors. It used to blend so quickly. And you can use it for our like quick and easy three minute ice cream recipe as well. Yes. So that's the first thing that I would suggest go looking for when you're looking on Amazon Prime. Yep. For Prime Day. Next one is, it's a little dusty, but is an Instant Pot. The Instant Pot. And I mean, really, honestly, like any, um, what are they called? Like a pressure cooker, electric yep. pressure cooker yep. is what it's called. This is just the name brand. Yeah, this is just the brand Instant Pot. But I will say, I mean, we used to have all of it. We've tried a lot of different brands over the years. And, and the Instant Pot's been the most reliable one. And I've had some big name brands. I mean, we had like a whole bunch we tried from QVC and just never. Yeah, like... the QVC ones, like always, they showed up dented. They broke down yeah. after like six months. So we ended up going to the Instant Pot. This is actually the Wi-Fi version. I got this one at Amazon. And this one like hooks up to your phone and your um, Wi-Fi so you can actually like start it. It can alert your phone when, you know, like something is done. But any of the Instant Pots are good. And most of the recipes that you're going to see out, out now, they all actually like are kind of based around Instant Pot with their settings. Yeah. So it's a lot easier to just get an Instant Pot than find an Instant Pot recipe that you really like and have to convert it to yeah. whatever pressure cooker that you're personally using. Keep it easy. If yeah. you're if you're a home cook like I'm a home cook, which is like, yeah, right. let's keep it simple. But it's great for uh, making things like our Mexican shredded chicken. It's great if you just want to do some like ribs and don't feel like going through the whole recipe of like smoking Ooh. them on a smoker or in five fast. hours. You want it fa fast, you can put them in here. An hour, hour and a half later, you can have nice ribs. Same thing, like if I forget to like dethaw some, uh, whatchamacallit, some chicken thighs. Yep. You can throw them in here frozen with a little bit of chicken broth or some water, cook right up, right from frozen. So definitely you, something to think and about. And if you grew up afraid of pressure cookers, this thing like, you know, won't blow your face off. Yep. But that's another great thing to look for on prime days. Next up, we're just getting the big appliances out of the way. Yeah. If you don't want a big blender like a Vitamix and just want something for making like your coffees and soups, and that is a ninja. ninja. Now he will not do any like assassinations for you. This right. is just a blender, but it actually is fantastic, especially for keto coffees in the morning. Yep. 
And I just actually recommended to like somebody on our channel who's asking about blenders and stuff like that. If you don't want to spend the money on a Vitamix, because the bottom line is Vitamix is start at like $300. Yeah. I personally feel the next best option if you don't want to spend money on a Vitamix is a Ninja. And I'm not going to talk about just this kind in general, but Ninja does make regular blenders as well. Yes. And so I suggest, I highly recommend Ninjas. I think that they make a great machine. And they do make a blender, which I just recommended to one of our subscribers, where it's a regular blender. It looks like a Vitamix. But then it comes with two of these as yeah. well. And it was only like $79 now, pre-Prime Days. It's amazing like how many like single serve things like this thing you can use for. I mean, yep. I've used this for soup. I've used this for definitely for even like slushies. Now, you do know that there is a big warning on here that says do not put hot stuff in this. Yes. So I, don't do what we do, but we put hot stuff in it. They I say not totally to because what happens is ignored that warning. When you put hot stuff in here, it becomes very difficult to open up. It builds up pressure. Okay, I can't attest to that. <laughs> Where and it, and it's so bad because Joe always reminds me don't do it, and then I have to bring it to him to have him to get the lid off because I can't do it. And I, man, I try everything to get it off on my own. But but yeah, this this is a great machine. If you just want something for smoothies and don't want a regular blender, this thing is awesome. And with the keto chow, it does a great job with the keto. Yes, chow. it does. So. Okay, another big appliance that I think is great in a keto kitchen is a food saver. Yes. So I buy a lot of my like cheese, I buy it in bulk. We've gotten more into not buying just like the, the bottom line, the crappy cheese, mm -hmm. you know, the little blocks or something like that, or go to Costco and get a big block. We buy a lot of our cheese now, like I'm trying to buy raw milk cheese and stuff, whatever's on cheese sale at Costco. Cheese snobs at this point, I think. <laughs> So it's nice to be able to get a nice cheese that's on sale and you can vacuum seal it. It's great if like you're like us and you bulk buy meat when it goes on sale. Oh yeah. Well, all of our meat says special on it. <laughs> it's always bragging on us. You're special, Rachel. Like your meat says so. Not all of our meat. I mean, a we, we generally only buy it on sale, but yeah, we'll go into like Penn Dutch and if they're having like clearance, like we have to sell this within two days. Especially like sausage, like yes. when they put like the Italian sausage and stuff like that. That's so good. Uh, we buy, we'll buy every package because they sell it for like a dollar a package. So it's, it's literally a dollar a pound. We'll buy them all. We'll come home. We'll vacuum seal them. Same thing. Like sometimes they'll have like chicken wings on sale for like a dollar a pound. So we'll come home. We'll divide it into enough for like one Portions. serving a piece. And we vacuum seal it. And it's just a great thing to have, especially on keto, because you're always looking for higher quality. So now you can just vacuum seal it and put it away. And it'll last a lot longer in the freezer or in the fridge. It really will. I also, with this one, because this one's got the little attachment on it, um, I get my herbs. Because that's horrible. You go buy fresh herbs. And then when you open up that package, within two days, they're garbage. It goes bad. And now you don't even, like, you can't even use them. So what this one's got, like, you can get these Ziploc bags and you put this little attachment on and as soon as you use the herb, go back and vacuum seal it. And it's it good to go. Get ruined. Yep. What's else? The other thing that I love that you do is because we use our sous vide. That's probably another I one. Got that, that right here. Right. Our sous vide machine. So to, to kind of piggyback on um, that, if you uh, can use those bags and put like your steak and your herbs that's and everything one of the things that's on it. my list for tomorrow for prime day that i am looking for is some silicone sous vide bags because they are a little pricey like i mean right now we just vacuum seal and everything yeah. but i would love to get some of those silicone bit bags that you could just reuse over and over but i think it's like two bags right now is like 26 dollars so if i can get a couple of those that would be awesome so this is the Anova um, sous vide machine. You don't have to use this one. The two yeah. that I recommend personally are the Anova and the Jewel. Those are like the top two. Yeah. And then also get one of those Rubbermaid totes. Yep. To I'm not going to pull that thing out. But you've seen it. If you've seen us do, go watch the So Easy Rachel Can Make It um, when I cooked a steak. Can you say that again? You're, you're like activating Alexa. Did I say something Alexa-y? I I don't know. I don't know. But yeah, so go back and watch that video and we have like a... It's like a 12 quart Rubbermaid container. Yeah. And then we also have, mm -hmm. did you get the dividers from there too, from Amazon? Yeah. 
We'll leave like we'll leave a list down below with all the different things. Obviously, make sure you go and find them on Prime Day and stuff like that. Now, if you click on the ones down below, they are affiliate links, but you want to make sure you go through the Prime Day link yeah, as well to get, get the deal. Prime discount. You know, sometimes you can just see it's on sale, and then if you click on the link down below, that will give you like the Prime Day deal. But just so you can, if you want to go ahead and look at for them ahead of time, we'll leave links down below so you can go find the stuff and then look and see what's on sale for Prime Day. Yeah. Okay. Um. Next big appliance that I never used to use, never used to use this, and even though I've always had one, right? and that is a food processor. We need to dust. I know, sorry about this. So this is the Cuisinart food processor, um, but some kind of food processor because it's great, like, you know, the bottom line is like, you know, rice cauliflower could be expensive. It if, is. If you get cauliflower on sale, or if you're fortunate enough, not like us, to live in South Florida, if you're fortunate enough to live in an area where you can grow your own cauliflower. Yes, like mom. Um, yeah. Your mom. And you can rice it up. I love it. We make our own sauerkraut. This just shreds it up. One, two, three. And again, these are all luxury items or something like that. They don't, you don't have to have them. These are just items that we use on a regular basis, like in our keto kitchen. And if you can get a deal, we want you to get a deal. Yep. So the last two things that I would recommend, I'm not gonna bother pulling out because they're so big. Yes. The first one would be our ice cream maker that we just bought. And we were going to buy the Cuisinart one that Chris has, mm -hmm. but it was like a two to four week back order. And it we was- We need our ice cream now. Yeah, and it was an Amazon Prime. I mean, it was free shipping, but not Amazon Prime. And I always really do look for items that are Amazon Prime because if you have to return it, it's just easier. You don't have to like yeah. go through the company that's selling it on Amazon. But this one is the winter one. Mm -hmm. And it had like some incredible reviews, like both on Amazon and off Amazon. If you go look for like compressor ice cream makers, it's always like the number one ice cream maker, maker recommended. And it made delicious, perfect consistency. 45 minutes. And I could have gone right back and made another batch if I would have not already drank my keto chow. Yeah, so. no, but it works. It worked fantastic. And you're able to get an extended warranty on. Um, these products through yeah. Amazon, yeah. yeah, and they're pretty reasonable. Yeah, and I don't buy extended warranties on a lot of items, like, but certain things that, like, I think may have a lot of moving parts. Yeah, most of the time it's not worth it because you can just go replace the item. Like right. when we bought our microwave, they're like, paid two hundred and eighty dollars for a microwave, and they wanted a hundred dollars for a three year warranty. I'm like, ah, uh, if it breaks in three years, because there's a already a year manufacturer's warranty, so now right. I'm paying a hundred dollars for an extra year, an extra two years. But like the ice cream maker, that's got a compressor for like, you know, an AC unit built in it. That could go bad. It so really it was can. worth, I think, 20 bucks or whatever it was. So the last item that, as far as appliance items that I would recommend. Is my favorite. Is your favorite, which is. The coffee maker. Your coffee makers. That's definitely something you can, like, I would look for on Prime. If you're shopping for a good coffee maker, I highly recommend that one. And again, these are just things that keep your eye out for. You may have a good deal. My coffee maker also doubles as, like, a beautiful scented candle because, yeah, the whole house smells delicious. Okay, so let's move on to some of the little things. Favorite things is these are my favorite cup measures. I don't know why. So first of all, I just like the color coding. It makes it easier. But I like the way they nest and these stainless steel ones. I don't even know who company makes this. Can you tell me? It says, well done or well done. I don't know. But these are really good cut measures. But this is probably my favorite thing that I've bought on Amazon yes. for my keto kitchen. Because I've had a lot of measuring spoons over the years, usually the plastic ones. Somebody sticks them in the dishwasher. Bye. They melt in half mm -hmm. or you, you lose one, right? You know, they come on that ring and you're like, oh my gosh. And then you take the ring off and now they're all missing. So this is a set of measuring spoons. I actually have two sets of these. And they this little middle piece is magnetic. So they just kind of stack. They're awesome. Of course, I still can't get everybody who does the dishes to when they take them out of the dishwasher to stack them back like this. But they do stack back. But they do sleep. stack back. But this one comes with a tablespoon a half a tablespoon, a teaspoon, a half a teaspoon, a quarter of a teaspoon. And then one that you don't see very often in a measuring spoon set is an eighth of a teaspoon. Yeah, and then you've got it on both ends. Yeah, oh, and it's both ends. Yeah, so you have one here and one here. So if you're doing two different things, you can scoop up one side and then turn around and scoop the other without having to go wash it out first. Yeah. So, uh, what else do we have? Ramekins. Oh yeah, grab those and I'm gonna grab this. These are our favorite ramekins for um, making mug cakes. Yep, it actually comes with a set of six, but I think somebody's using one as a, a watering bowl for the cats. 
So, and again, we're going to leave links for all of this down here, down below for the ones that we found because mm -hmm. I went through and couldn't find stuff. And these are the ones. This is the exact size that I think works well for mug cakes. I don't remember what size this is. I want to say it's like eight ounce. But yeah. I don't remember. But it's actually microwave safe, dishwasher safe. Right. Because that nice. was part of the problem when I was looking around the cans. A lot of them were, there goes your phone. I'm getting a text. Um, a lot of them were like not microwave safe or they weren't dishwasher safe. Thank you. Next up, and a lot of people have asked us what mixing bowls I use. These, these are the bomb. I'm actually com. looking for a new set because these are kind of getting like, these are well loved, well loved, scratched up, and stuff like that. But these OXO. are from these are from OXO, and I just love these things. We use them all the time. So it comes with a one and a quarter cup, a three quart cup. This is one and a quarter, a one and a half quart. This is a three quart. And that is five. a five quart. And I just love the way they nest together like that. And just nothing sticks to it. Yep. Um, oh. Contigo's. Contigo. Okay. So you may not know this about me, but I am the most klutzy, accident prone lady in the world. Okay. Like we have gone to Apple, like I don't even know how many times because I've like dropped my phone in the toilet. Didn't pee first though. So that was good. <laughs> Cause it gets awkward at Apple when they're like, how many times are you going to drop this in the toilet lady? So I drop stuff. Right. And this thing has been the only travel mug in my life that does not spill. Yeah. It just doesn't leak. It's awesome. If you have it closed now, if you have it open, I can't help you. But like if you have it closed, it does not leak. And it comes in a variety of colors. My favorite is my purple one. Right. It goes with me everywhere. Now they have two kinds. Um, this is the kind I like where it's got, and I'm sure most of you guys have seen Contigo's, but this yeah. one's just like the flip up thing and you drink out and then you lock it back up. I like the one. And then Rachel's got the one where you press a button and you have to hold the button yeah. to drink out of it. The problem that I like with that one, especially because we usually fill it up going to um, like Wawa, is those are usually smaller. I think this is a 24 ounce and yours only come in 16 ounce. Right. But this is kind of the lid that for the one I like. But yeah. And next thing, because we can't pull it, show it because it's all in the dishwasher. I'm starting to warm up. Is so um, blender bottles. Yes. Blender. I find the cheapest place to buy blender bottles are on Amazon. Yes. And, and you really want a blender bottle. Don't buy like the off name brands because all the off name brands leak or they crack. And the good thing is, is blender bottle, most people don't know this, will actually replace them if you break it. I didn't know that. Yep. But I have not had to replace any. Yeah. So. Well, now we have a lot of them thanks to Keto Chow. Thank you, Keto Chow. So, I don't know what we're going to do with them all when we don't have 20 of them piled in our refrigerator. I do. I'm not going to get yelled at because you can't find one because I'm using them all. Well, usually it's good. Well, where are we going to put them? You can't. You, what are you going to do? Store them all in your car? They're all going to be in my office and they're off limits to everyone else in the house. Well, Anthony likes to store them in his bedroom because he likes them. But they're great for... Like just little shakes. I love them for like if you do an iced coffee with some MCT powder in it mm -hmm. uh, or Zip Fizz or Ultima, stuff like that. You're so, speaking my language. But again, I think blender bottles are the best, but uh, like plastic bottles for stuff. I do too. Okay. Now we're going to get into some food items. Ultima. We definitely use Ultima. And again, I don't know if this stuff is prime. I'm just telling you to look for it. I yeah. don't know if it's, I mean, they're all prime things. Mm -hmm. So, But I don't know if any of this stuff is going to be on, on sale, sale for prime days. We're just showing you this is stuff that we get on Amazon on a regular basis. Now, my friend Beth just messaged me today to let me know that there was a blue raspberry. I have to go look for that. That we have not tried yet. Yeah, we're so. going to have to go look for that. So Ultima will be the first one. Uh, next one would be some Lincanto. This is the greatest line. Of I think stuff. the best price actually is like at Amazon, unless somebody like Whole Foods or something has it on sale. Mm -hmm. Amazon um, usually has the best price, as well as their website has got really good prices. They're starting to actually lower their prices on their website cheaper than Amazon. It used to be more expensive on Amazon. Yeah. Now they're making their website cheaper, um, but. You know, then you also have to pay for shipping sometimes. We just tried their <clears throat> chocolate chips and did a review of them. Yeah, we did that. Check I'll leave a link out. up over here. And we've been waiting, but we got some of their new blueberry muffin mix. And we can try <clears throat> that tomorrow, probably. Yeah, we're going to do a review on that. And we have a giveaway. We're going to give away a bag of it. Yay! Yeah, so some of the some of the items they don't sell on Amazon, you can only buy on their website. But mm -hmm. I would definitely go ahead and look for 
Then Monkford, we've switched over from Erythritol to pretty much exclusively use the Monkford uh, sweetener. And then also the drops. And the lemon flavor, if you miss like tea with like lemon, yeah. that like the half and half tea, it's so good. Yeah, but all of the flavors, the vanilla is really good, the chocolate's really good, and then I always have I always have a thing of plain with me in, yeah. in my car or in my backpack. It's delicious. Okay. Next up. True. True. True orange. Not just the true orange, but true lemon. True orange, true lemon. True lime is my favorite. Yeah. I mean, we tried true grapefruit, and that was really good, too. I thought I was going to totally love orange and that this would be my favorite, but it's not. It's lime. Miriam really likes the, the grapefruit. From Keto Chow. Yeah. Okay, next up. I think we only have a couple things left. I, don't, I couldn't think of anything else. But then um, Anthony's Cocoa Powder. Their whole line is great. Their whole line is great. So I would look the at the cacao nibs. The cacao nibs. Um, the, we use Anthony's Coconut Flour. Mm hmm I actually have the cacao nibs right here. You just got ahead of us. Ah! <laughs> see, great minds think alike. Yeah. So uh, we use we use your Anthony's Organic Cocoa Powder. We use uh, Anthony's Erythritol, except for now we're, we just have some left, but we're starting to switch over only to Lancanto because it doesn't have that cooling effect. So right. It's got Monkford in it. But I'm more sensitive to it. So but like, it is more expensive as well. Like yeah. Buying the Lancanto Monkfruit like Erythritol blend is more expensive than just buying erythritol but it tastes so good yeah. but if you just want straight erythritol i highly recommend the anthony's brand yeah um and then like like rachel said the cacao nims but we use a lot of anthony's products you can also go on the website and <coughs> see like our favorite amazon Excuse products me. and there's a whole list of all of our favorite amazon products i was sneezing and totally missed saying cacao <laughs> cacao well that's okay because i was in the middle of talking and missed saying god bless you thank you so and then um, anything else you can think of that we get on Amazon? Mm, is there something that you're Oh, Redmond Real Salt. Oh, yes. You know? And again, you know, like even that Redmond Real Salt, we are an affiliate of them, but you, a lot of times it's just cheaper to buy it on Amazon. Get we it want where you, guys you can get the, get price, the so. deal. Yeah, so I would definitely, if you want to try some Redmond Real Salt, go look on Amazon for Prime Day. That might be on sale. What else are you just looking forward to personally on Amazon? Are you looking for anything in particular? I don't know. I literally love Amazon Prime Day because I just scroll down and buy nonsense that I don't really need. Okay, well, while you're looking, <laughs> some nonsense that I really need, actually need, is I'm I'm looking to try to get some of the Fabletics, like, pants for girls. Okay. Yeah, those workout ones because they're, like, compression, and they're really good for, like, skin, loose skin. Okay. Not that I ever have a problem with loose skin. Ha, ha, ha. Yes, definitely. Lots of it. So um, those, I'm, I'm anxious to try that. And also, they have a line of, like, um, underwear wire sports bras. Okay. We'd like you to look for. Okay. So we can keep them going in the same direction. <laughs> High five. So I'm trying to think if there's not much more, like, you know, some of the different, oh, Keto Farms sells through Amazon. Yeah. So that's another thing that we have a review coming up for. We're working on a giveaway with them. Yeah. Um, you can also look for New Week cookies. Um, any of the snacks and stuff. Just keep your eye out on all of those. Mm -hmm. You know, anything else? I think that's it. So. Well, that is all the items I can think of. Let us know down below in the comment section what are some items that you're looking for on Amazon Prime Day. Oh, that's what I'm looking for. I'm looking to see if they put iPads on, cheap, on sale cheaper than I paid for them. Ooh, because they you can return it and, and then, then buy it. Yeah, because I mean I'm not gonna do it if it's like twenty dollars, but if it's like a fifty or a hundred dollars sale. And we have been shocked in the past. Yeah. Right. Like there, and then if you don't have Amazon Prime, this is a great time to get it. They usually have deals on just becoming an Amazon yeah. Prime person, and that is going to you're gonna save during the year if you ever shop at Whole Foods mm -hmm. because you get like an a, a extended discount, right? Yeah. And a little tip, if you um, have a member of your family, like, you know, your son or your daughter or even yourself, if you're a student, yes, you get like half price on Amazon Prime membership while they're in college. So, yeah. So if you've got somebody entering college. Yeah. All you have to deal. do is confirm their EDU address. You don't even have to switch over your account, but it's much cheaper. They, they take away a couple of benefits, but... We get to keep all the. I think you lose Amazon Music, like the the like this the music subscription part. You can still listen to Amazon Music, but you don't have the the best part, best level of it. Right. But you still get all the free movies. You still get the free delivery, <clears throat> the free TV. That and kind I'm of sure stuff. I will still have access to my '90s love songs. Yeah. And Frank Sinatra. 
So yeah, let us know down below what are some items that you're looking for on Amazon Prime Days. Let us know if there's anything we missed for the Keto Kitchen. Yeah, absolutely. So if you like what you saw today, do us a favor. Hit that like button down below. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the little bell icon. And that way, every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to it. Until next time. Bye. Bye.